Hello to all the year 9 students who are following this channel for your commercial studies coverage during this COVID-19 lockdown. First topic there is barter system. It is defined as the exchange of goods between people without the use of money or any medium of exchange. Now, you can see one with a rabbit, the other one with a fish. The one with the rabbit is very happy to get the fish and the other with the fish is very happy to get the rabbit. So there we have the exchange of goods without the use of money. And we have the other two examples that are going on that they are able to exchange happily without the use of money. We also have experienced that recently on a platform in the Facebook uh, under Bada for Bada Fiji. People have been very happy exchanging goods uh, during these uh, difficult times without the use of money. And that is a pure example of barter system. How people can barter uh, getting the goods that they will satisfy their needs and wants without the use of money. Next is double coincidence of wants. This is one of the requirements that you need to have in order to have uh, butter. In a butter economy, exchange between two people requires a double coincidence of wants, which means that what one person wants is exactly what the other person wants to offer for what you have. So we have seen that in the previous example between the person who have a rabbit and the fish. Now in this example here, uh, product product X and the other side product Y. On top there it says the owner of product X wants Y. And at the bottom, the owner of Y, product Y, wants X. So See, this person having this product want the other product and the other person having the other product want the other person's product so they are able to trade and that is double coincidence of ones double means two coincidence going on at the same time of ones so that allows for butter to take place now when that double coincidence of ones is not present we will not have a butter there will be no trade so sometimes it's often very hard to have double coincidence of ones meaning the person who have product x does not want product y he may want something else and that is often present in the market and therefore is sometimes very difficult to butter you have a product but uh, Mm, people does not want it but those people who want your product you does not want their product so you cannot butter so butter system exists only when there is double coincidence of ones next is money Money is something that is generally accepted as a medium of exchange, measure of value, or a means of payment. On the picture there, we have a Indian lion. Uh, this is one of those uh, coinage that was originated from Lindia. Kingdom of Lindia is located in the west part of Asia Minor in the modern day Turkey. They were the first people to mint coin and utilize symbolic animal into their coinage. One of these coins is normally valued at 11 sheep or 10 goats, equivalent of that coins. Now, as we know today, we have gone through most of those transitions from a physical object, gold, butter system, electronic, metals, uh, plastic, cryptocurrencies, and paper money. So those are the forms of money that we are currently doing. In Fiji, we have not used cryptocurrency. Now next is history and evolution of money. 
in the timeline on the left hand side where the history of money is uh, grouped into three on the left hand side we have the past and on the right hand side we have the present we have a physical object that we use as money uh, including our tambour there and uh, in the middle we have gem precious metal so those gold gold coins uh, that were used for exchange and now we have uh, today it's called uh, fiat money um, the one that we are currently using but um, there are more things that we are using today n not just uh, fiat money the paper and coins that we have note that the stages they overlap each other um, barter system will also be used and um, in the process through the years of its uh, evolution the evolution of money and over there you have uh, the barter system we have a gold the precious metal that we use then we have uh, metal coins then uh, paper money plastic card electronic now we have cryptocurrencies now cryptocurrency is a new one that has been developed due to financial um, crisis that has been um, going on in our in a financial uh, market there's a lot of market crashes and um, because the money was regulated some people come up with uh, the idea of having a, a type of uh, currency that is not regulated by the government and that's where we have the cryptocurrency and one of the famous one is the Bitcoin so those are the evolution of uh, uh, money over the, the years it took a long time hundreds of uh, of years to move from one stage to another and currently we are on electronic money in Fiji and um, most of the things are encouraged to go electronically from your payment of bus fare to anything in the future we will go on to electronic uh, I don't know what the, whether we will have a cryptocurrency going on in the future or because uh, it's something that the government uh, really dislike because it's, they are not in control of some of those cryptocurrencies. Now this is just another version of what we have just seen. A history of currency from butter to physical object to gold uh, coins, paper money, gold standard, uh, plastic uh, cards, electronic to bitcoins, cryptocurrencies. There are different versions of uh, this uh, similar type of uh, history of currency that are available on the internet. Next is development of money. Now, what we have there is uh, the current coinage that we are using. We normally have the queen's head at the back of the queen. It has been changed to the endangered species in 2012. And um, in 2014, we have the new $2 queen and the removal of the two dollar notes now given there are some specimens you can find the rest of the specimens of notes that had been introduced in Fiji in your textbook but when you look at the timeline the one that was in the last slide from 1700s we were having barter system without the use of any money and since Fiji became a colony of Great Britain we started using their money in 1830 right through to 1969 when Fiji uh, introduced its own currency and from then onwards our currency the, um, you must have seen in the specimen keep changing and improving until today so the recent changes that we have is 2017 seven dollar note commemorating fiji gold metal 
in the Fiji seven side rugby team in the Olympics. So Fiji, that's the first time to have the Fiji the rugby sevens and Fiji won uh, the the game and get a gold medal on uh, our seven side team uh, rugby team. Now on to the last part, your worksheet. There are two questions there. One from 2019 paper, the other one in 2018 paper. You can answer those questions into your book and please note the answers for these will be provided to you in the web page. I hope uh, you've got that and um, thank you very much. You can put your comments and um, share with your friends.